Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sarah, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing my first Halloween look. I'm going to be doing three this year, and I decided to do it a little different than I did last year. So I had my boyfriend and his two sisters each pick out of five looks that I had um, decided from so they got to each pick one so I'm going to be recreating their looks so in this video I'm going to be recreating my boyfriend's look it's going to be a Bratz doll so I'm going to insert it here and then I will go ahead and get into the video so you can see how I created that look if you're new, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, give the video a thumbs up, and make sure the notification bell is clicked so you're notified of all my future uploads, and we will go ahead and get straight into the video. So I went ahead and already did the whole base part because it's just like my regular makeup. So all I'm going to be doing is the eyeshadow part and the lips and the underneath drawing part as well so i'm also going to be looking this way some because i have my ipad where i can see the look so i make sure to recreate it right but i will have everything linked down below of the makeup i used so that if you're interested in any of the products i use you can go check them out down below the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to set my eyelids before I do my eyeshadow. So I'm just going to be using my CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Mascara in the shade Classic Ivory. And maybe it'll focus today. And I'm just going to put a little dot of this on my eyes. And then I'm also going to set it with my Cody Airspun powder that I always use. So I'm just going to take this on my eyelids. And then I'm going to blend it out with my Beauty Blender. First eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be using is the Mauves by Juvia's. This looks like this. And I'm going to take, based off the picture, the closest color to that is this darker one. So I'm going to take it on my little fluffy brush and I'm going to take that in my outer corner and bring it in to the center and blend that it looks like this is more of a cut crease look so that's what i'm gonna do this color turned out to be more of like a purple than i thought it was going to be according to the picture so on top of it, I'm actually going to take my ColourPop Sweet Talk palette and I'm just going to add a little bit of this color here to try and mix it in with that color to get more of the color in the picture. <laughs> that I have that as dark as I want it. It's still not exactly the same color as in the picture, but it will work. So I'm now going to cut the crease. So I'm going to take my um, concealer that I used before and I'm just going to put some of it on my hand like this. And then I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to take a little mirror and I'm going to cut my crease with this brush so I'm gonna get up a little closer so you guys can see and hopefully this brush isn't too big like 
with the concealer on it. I'm obviously not going to leave it like this. But now I'm going to go back in with that purpley shade and just fix this front part. So the concealer kind of got a little crazy over here. So I'm just going to take this little tiny brush and tap it pretty good. And then I'm just going to take it along that edge and kind of refill it in like that. So it covers that part back up. Now for this side, I'm going to go ahead and set it already and I'm just going to take my finger and set it just so I don't mess everything up, but I'm just going to set that concealer so it doesn't move or anything. Now I'm going to go back in with the fluffy brush and I'm just going to flick it to the side just to cover over where that concealer is. Just so that it's not a super harsh line or anything. I'm going to go ahead and just finish this top part of this eye and then do the other eye off camera. But I'm going to go ahead and in the photo it has a little bit of a light pink right in this area. So I'm going to take my Sweet Talk palette again and I'm going to use this light pink on this little tiny brush and put that on this inner part just right in here is where hers is <laughs> Now I'm going to clean up this edge part. So I'm just going to take that brush I took earlier that I used for this inner purple part. But I wiped it off and I'm going to take some more of my concealer. And I'm going to make it where it's in a straight line. So that whenever I do the eyeliner, it can help me make a straighter line and it will all look clean. So like I said, I'm just going to take some concealer. And just make a line. Now that I have the look like this, I'm going to take my Curvitude liner that's in black. And I'm going to make a pretty big wing because in this picture, she has a pretty big wing. So I'm going to attempt to do that and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> this long <laughs> but here it is and I'm gonna go ahead and draw the rest of this and make it come down some for that part of this look so I'm gonna just take this and do the inner part and then the inner part of this now that I have that part drawn, for the next part, I'm going to use my Halloween makeup that I used from last year. It's just like a face paint sort of thing. It's just called grease makeup. Looks like this. And I'm going to take, let me see, I'm going to take my little paintbrush one. And I'm going to get the black on it. And then I'm going to draw the black line underneath. And I'm going to look over a lot for this just so I make sure that I get this right. that I have 
that line, I'm going to take that black again and I'm going to make the little um, eyelashes next. <laughs> that part so I think I may have come down a little too far on this part but it'll be okay so I'm gonna take my white paint now on this brush and I'm gonna fill in all of this area with the white <laughs> back in with the tiny brush and the black to make the black part of the eye and it's just a little tiny half circle like right where your eye is at <laughs> With this other little brush that I have, I'm going to take brown because this brat doll's eye is brown. So I'm going to take brown on this other little paintbrush I have. And you just go around the outer edge and connect it to this bottom part of the eye. I'm going to go ahead and do that with the brown. take that brush again I'm just gonna wipe it off some and then I'm gonna go in with the white and I'm going to add the little white spot in the black part and then also add white in where the brown is <laughs> done as good as I can um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera then I will come back and all we have left to do is mascara and then the lips and then we are done so I will be right back after I finish the other eye so I went ahead and did my mascara off camera I just did the top lashes and this is what the look is looking like right now so the last step is to do my lips so a brat doll in this picture it shows that this one's lips are like really overlined so i'm gonna take the brush that i used for the black and i'm just gonna wipe it off and i'm gonna use it to do my lips and this is the closest color that I have to the one that this doll has. So I'm going to try my best to do this. I'm going to add the picture in again. 
It's not exactly perfect, but it's as close as I can get it. I can't even take myself seriously with my lips like this. But this is the final look. I really hope you enjoyed Halloween look number one. So within the next week, I will be uploading the other two looks that I have for Halloween before Halloween gets here. So if you're interested in seeing those, make sure to have the notification bell clicked so that you don't miss them. Make sure you subscribe if you're new and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy and I will see you in the next video.